Let's, let's say, say it so English. Mia Moore. Mia Moore. It's Mia Moore. All right then. Well, Mia Moore. All right, Mia Moore. Let's let's yeah, talk. Yeah. Anyway, we're here. We are. We are here. It is Monday morning, and we are excited about what God is doing. Right. We we just came back from uh, Muskegon. Yes. Michigan. Yes. Exactly. We were there with we was there with Pastor Ken and Vicky Armstrong, yes. pastors of Transformation Life Church, right? Yes. And uh, you know, we got some memorabilia there from the church. We got the water bottles. Oh, yeah. They were oh. very gracious hosts. We oh preached gosh, under the tent. Wonderful. We was there also uh, uh we preached and also um uh, the Pastors Lo- Andy, Andy and, and Jennifer, Jennifer Lose, yes. they preached. Oh my he gosh. preached Thursday and fr- uh, Friday and Saturday, and we had a great time of fellowship. They're part of the City part Harvest our, Net- yes. Network, uh, you know, and so we we had come together. So it's a it's a it's a blessing. And we just before we get started, I just want to give a shout out to Pastor Ken. God bless you. God bless you, sir. God bless you, Sister Vicky. God bless you all. God yes. bless your church. Yeah, they were gracious. We had a move of God. We had healings. We had miracles, and yes. uh, and we went out on the street, and sixteen people got saved Yay! up in the project. Yay! I was preaching out on the street to brought back the old school when I first started. Yes. preaching. that's why I first started preaching is on yep. is in the streets. Yeah, I there was no pulpit to preach, so I just preached on the streets. Right. Me and David Derby. That's right. Oh yeah. Me and David Derby running my, up and down yep, the streets. My, my kickboxing wrestling friend. Preaching to the winos. Yep, they used to <laughs> prophesy to me that God would use them and say, "Hey Paul, you called to be a pastor. Yep. Hey Paul, you called to be a preacher." You know, mm-hmm. and uh, they preach they were the drug dealers and all of them. They still they respected us and they listened and we got folks mm-hmm. saying we prayed for people and because that's where the action is on this yes. as they say in North Carolina on the street out on the street out on the street, on the street that's corner. where the action on is the street way. <laughs> and so we enjoyed ourselves so we just before we got the intro and did everything else we just wanted to, I just wanted to give a, a real quick shout out uh to every to, to them I know of course they're on Facebook and they're on Instagram and uh on this Monday morning I want to remind you that you are who the word of God says you are you can do what the word of God says you can do and you can have what the word of God says you can have this is Paul and Tara Thompson, Thompson and, and you're watching Advancing, Advancing the, the Kingdom. Kingdom. We are the pastors of Indy Harvest Church yes, right God. here in the, as Bishop Tyson will say, the beautiful, 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 beautiful. beautiful. oh, <laughs> what a beautiful morning. Oh, yes. oh, okay. oh, what a beautiful day. Tyson. He will want me to keep the tradition no, going. I don't, I don't okay. think he I, it's funny, I really, But anyway, uh, we're not here in Indianapolis, in Indiana. Indiana. We're yes, here in we the, I have a Holy Ghost feeling. <laughs> Jesus is coming my way. <laughs> Just for you. Nobody doing it like Bishop Tyson. <laughs> Just for you, Bishop Tyson. Oh, my gosh. I love this. Oh, I love him so, so much. And so, yeah, so. Uh, and the Sister Tyson. But we're here in Indianapolis, Indiana. We are, uh, if you here on a Sunday morning, not this Sunday morning. No. This Sunday morning, we're packing the whole church up. Yeah. And yeah. we're going to. The doors camp will meeting. be closed. We're, we're <laughs> going to, we're going to camp meeting, Dominion camp meeting, DCM 35. Yeah. And now, we'll be there. Yeah. Now, you know, a lot of people, a lot of pastors will be afraid to do that because they're like, what? No, you can't, we're going to miss the offering and people, you know, what if people will come? That's going to. Mm-mm, no, no. We we are going to D C. Every time we do it, everybody that everybody yes. that goes to the church, they still tithe. Yes, they still tithe and give their offering. And this everything. is this is too important to miss. We gotta visit their house and let them know. No, 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 but uh, no, but but no, you just do. You gotta you God visitors, to make. visitors go with us. Yeah, one one lady said, "Yeah, I want to go." <laughs> and so, uh, so so yeah, we going. It's our yes. spiritual father, our spiritual heritage. And we yes. want we want the refreshing and the Ooh. blessing, and we want we want everybody to get a part of it. So we all be on one accord, yes. and uh, we having a church field Not trip. A so okay. just uh, yeah, so just we'll we'll be there. So but when you're in the Indianapolis area, um, uh, after next week we'll we'll be back after that. Uh, we out yeah. out right now. We could be moving at any moment because I believe God is moving us uh, to another location uh, oh, speedily. Yes. Yes. Um, at, at, we're at twenty nine twenty six East Washington Street, Sundays at eleven a.m. Now I want you to go and connect with us on Facebook. 
connect with us on Instagram, Paul and Tar Thompson, Paul and Sign Tar Thompson. I want you to connect with us on our YouTube, Paul and Tar Thompson on YouTube. Go and like this page, subscribe it, so subscribe to it, and help us uh, help us shoot up in viewership and uh, in subscriptions. Like it, share it, and be blessed by it. Yes, you know, you gotta share. It. You gotta, you got, you got to, and uh, and be ble yeah, be blessed by that to, thing. <laughs> so, so I want you all. I want you all to also. Uh, remind, I, I remember, uh, I wanted to remind you guys, we are, we have, uh, the book still going, yes, we wanted, you know, yes. everybody know about the devotional, um, and we we'll be putting it up there, so far. we yeah, putting it up gotcha. there on, uh, on, on, on the website and we put it up on there. So when we, uh, put the little shout out for the book, just, just let it, just, just be a bless, just be a blessing and get blessed by it. As a matter of fact, I'm, uh, uh, either Good Samaritan or probably um, Denisa Burns will probably have may have a link for it uh, in uh, in the in the comments about the book um, uh, Living by Faith Devotional. I'm uh, I'm coming out with another one, uh, and it'll be it'll be uh, I'll be giving it to Burns to do the pub mm -hmm. do the publishing thing next next month. Um, another devotional that is still, that's going to be just add to it and it'll bless you real good and you yes. come down with the children's book yes book. Yeah, the children's book yeah and so I'm you're just working on the color and, you're just working on all the graphic stuff right yeah, now we're working on some other stuff some other things yeah. to be published so we're really working on that kind of stuff it's time it's really time if we don't get it done now it just ain't we want to we want to edify folks other than just yes. in the pulpit have something in your hand that you can be blessed by yes. um and everything will download on your tablet or whatever you do however you do what you do and i'm also uh, talking about getting some uh, uh, worship and praise and worship workshops and so forth. So if you're interested in that, let us know. We will uh, work with your uh, music department. Amen. And uh, so connect with us. Make sure you connect. Make sure you connect. Connection is everything. I was, oh. I was uh, talking to a friend of mine and we was talking about it. Oh, I'm just looking on Facebook, y'all. And I was I we was in uh we were in uh we was in Muskingum and we was out on the street uh witnessing at one art festival. festival. So we was uh -huh. out there. they kicked us out, but we was out there passing we out flyers and praying for people at the arts I'm festival. And I'm looking at I am right here and I'm right here uh in one of their shirts they got all they it's all about the one Jesus on the yeah. streets. And I'm talking to a Catholic monk. Yes. And he's a Catholic monk and his name is Joseph. And uh yeah, we right my, I, I just I just saw a picture of him talking. We was talking right there, but uh, but but uh, yeah, I just thought saw I just saw that thing. But um, but we want to today. We want to we want to hit uh, hit this thing on restoration. Yeah, it's funny because we uh, restoration was a theme that um that we was hitting on up in Muskegon, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's something that you kind of hit on yesterday yeah. when you talk about in Psalms 126 mm -hmm. because you start talking about uh, turn again, turn yeah. again to captivity, turn again. And um, uh, we you, we were showing how you were showing how other translations would say stuff like you know uh, bring back the good times mm -hmm. and and do it again yeah you know and so we titled it God wants to do it again yeah. and because this is your restoration season this is a time yeah. of restoration for you everything the devil stole he has to put it back yeah. the things that God said he's going to do he is going to do he's gonna and do the it. fight yes. that you've been through God's about to give you double for your trouble hey, he's about hallelujah. to give you double for your trouble. He's about to give you double for the shame. The things you went through, God is about to show oh, yeah. you and give mm. you the double. And so you get you've been fought in one area. And if Ooh. you was going to see if, if you've been if you've been being fought in one area, God's not only going to uh, heal you, heal your body, but he's going to heal your body and he's going to do it. He's going to throw something Ooh. else on top of it. He's going to do something to make the devil mad. Yes. The devil, the Bible says yes. when the thief is found, he has to restore. Hey, he has I'm to return to sevenfold. Yes. So so, so God Seven wants to restore. Times. It's time for restoration to believe it God. Is. As a matter of fact, I'm going to read this scripture right quick okay. before I turn on my uh, and start messing around with this thing here. Okay. Um, I see. read this at the I read this under the uh, let, me, let me use your pink oh. Bible. Um, <laughs> I'm, you using the scripture here? Yeah. OK, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to hold my, I'm okay, hold. Hold my scripture. I'm, I'm going to hold myself right here. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to hold my place right there. Hold my mute. That's what Shirley. Uh, Shirley Caesar. Shirley Caesar. Caesar salad. Caesar said. Yeah. I was like seizure. Yeah. People be saying <laughs> in Acts chapter three. I read this scripture here, and uh, y'all all right out there? Okay. Um. <laughs> sarai, sarai. Hey y'all, auntie, everybody who up here, um, share yeah, this my thing. My auntie. Well, if you you call my mom, your mom. All right. All right. So Aunt Reen, that means you're his Aunt Reen too. Aunt Reen so. loved me more than she loved you. She, no, not more. Uh, not more. She said, she said, she said, I'm her tot. She said, I'm so glad you married to my to my tot. 
because I don't know what she would do without you. Ain't never said that. But didn't you say that? You inbox me, didn't you? No, just kidding. No, nah, but in Acts chapter three, um, in Acts chapter three, it's something after they they healed that lame man. Um, mm-hmm. after that lame man got healed, you know, everybody was in the uproar and was talking crazy, and they were saying that it wasn't them, but it was mm-hmm. the name of Jesus. But but uh, one thing that he told them, Peter told them, he said this. He says, "Repent ye, mm. therefore." Um, Acts chapter three, verse 19 through uh, 21. Repent ye therefore and be converted um, uh, that your sins may be blotted out when times of refreshing yeah. or reviving Ooh. or revival mm-hmm. shall come from the presence of the Lord. Now, 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 now it didn't say then times. Mm-hmm. Now, now listen to it. Listen uh-huh. to me. Listen. See, you can't. My uh-huh. pastor said this. You can't just read the Bible. You, you gotta, gotta read, read the Bible. Bible. <laughs> and so, so he says, he says this, he says, repent ye and be converted. Yeah. And he says that your sins may be blotted out. When? So he says, this is happening. Mm-hmm. This, re- refreshing, reviving, Ooh. and restoration is happening. He says, so you need to repent and get ready for it. Oh my. God. Because this is a get this is going to happen. So that when this happens, you are ready. When uh so when times of refreshing and God is refreshing you, God is bringing times of refreshing in your life from the presence of the Lord. Uh he shall send Jesus whom uh before was preached unto you, um whom the heavens must receive until the restitution or the restoration of all things. God uh-huh. says it's time for some restoration. It's time. it's time for refreshing. It's time for reviving. And it's time for restoration. God wants to refresh you. He mm. wants to revive you. And he wants to restore you. He wants to revive. the. He wants to refresh you because you've been through all, as they say back today, because of all the hell and high water you've been through. He, here you go. He I wants to that. refresh you. He wants to refresh your prayer life. He wants to refresh your he just want to give you a refreshing. You ever been okay? I do not like cutting grass. I just don't. I mean, I just don't. I don't judge me, brother. Some of y'all brothers love cutting grass. I just don't like cutting grass. I have two things I don't like: grass and dishes. I don't like either one. Oh, of them. Oh. my mom's, but my mom be like, I like, I love. Dishes, I love when mama cut over. I, I, I do not like doing those things. <laughs> But when I go cut grass, after you cut grass, it's hot, you, you, you grassy, you sweaty, it's, yeah. it's all itchy. And, and after you, after that, <laughs> you gotta go say, okay, we go, we gonna go out to eat. Okay, after you cut grass, after that, before you go out and eat and restore some nutrients in your body, you gotta get refreshed. Yeah. You gotta go take a shower and, and put on some new clothes and make sure no nothing in your hair. And then you gotta refresh yourself because you're feeling too. dirty, you're feeling mm-hmm. hot and yeah, you, you, you're thirsty, you're parched and everything, you've been sweating. Mm-hmm. And so now you gotta mm-hmm. refresh yeah. yourself. Yeah. And, 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 and some of you all been through, some of you all been through a lot. Some huh. of you have been through a lot of ridicule. You've been through My persecution. Goodness. You've been through Come stuff on. in your home. Call You've been out. through stuff in your family. Come You've on. been through Ooh. stuff on your job. Come You've on. been through Ooh. stuff in your finances. Ooh. You've been through stuff in your body. Ooh. You've been through stuff all uh, in your city. You've oh, been through Lord. stuff in your mind. Ah. You've been through stuff spiritually, fighting stuff spiritually. Mm-hmm. You've been dealing with things, and oh. now you've been feeling uh, you've been feeling drained, yes. and you've been feeling aggravated. Oh. You've been feeling frustrated. I ran out and, of things. And what happens is this. Now God's like, I gotta refresh you. Yeah, I gotta God. pour a nice. I gotta get you refreshed. It's time for you yeah. to get in the presence of God and let Him refresh you. Because yes. He, because before the restoring, it, the refreshing must happen. Yes. He says, I'm gonna refresh you so I can restore you. That's why they. That's why when He turned it again, that's why they was uh, had that joy because that refreshing, that refreshing comes. So God says, I'm gonna refresh you and I'm gonna revive your spirit and I'm gonna I, and I'm gonna because I'm about to restore some stuff. Yeah. It's time to believe yeah. God for restoration. Everything yes. the devil was messing with, He got to put it back with interest. Yes, yeah, with interest. You're not just, you know, sometimes we're not dreaming big enough. We're not asking big enough. God wants to think bigger. If you could do it yourself, it's not big enough. Mm-hmm. If you could, you know, just go out and make it happen yourself, you need to think bigger, dream bigger. Yeah. So we're just expecting to get back what we had. Most of the time we could do that ourselves if you give us enough time and enough, we get enough ingenuity and, and, and enough 
you know, things we could work out. We could make it happen ourselves. God wants to not just give you what you had, but even more. Even and more. so, you know, he wants to make it bigger. So God says, you know, he'll, he, he wants you to be like those that dream a dream, like you were dreaming that it's too good to be true. Wow. That, that, that part of it, you know, he's going to be, you'll be like those that dream a dream. Mm -hmm. So God's going to do it again. Do it but again. this time when he does it again, it's going to be even better. And he said, it'll be like coming to a, uh, a, an oasis in the desert. Can you imagine being in the desert? You ever see those, those movies and stuff mm -hmm. of somebody in the desert and their clothes are raggedy and this stuff. And I used to wonder what, I mean, you started out like fully dressed and by the time they got, what happened to their clothes? They, they were just going through the desert, but the desert, I mean, there's stuff you encounter in a desert. There are storms, there are animals, there are things, and that stuff wears on you. The winds and the conditions beat on you, and you, you end up coming through just, I mean, your clothes are ripped, and there's things you have to do to survive, and that's the way sometimes we feel. Yeah. You probably feel that way, that by the time you have come through stuff, you feel beat and worn down and raggedy yeah. and just torn and feel like, I don't know if I can go on. And you're about to come to that oasis yeah. where you can get refreshed get and get something and you need, you need good water, not dirty water. You need good water. You need something to pour over you mm -hmm. and bring you back to life yeah. and, and, and give you, cause you to be refueled. But another thing that I like about that translation, about uh, doing it again and restoring was that recompense, repayment. It's like payday. One thing that everybody likes on their job, no matter how much they complain about the job and what they don't like, who they don't like, when they're about to leave, but everybody likes payday. Yeah. Payday is a good day. Even if it's about to leave, because <laughs> you got to pay them bills, you still like payday. Because it feels good to pay the debts. It feels good to get the stuff taken care of. You like payday. And God is giving you payday. payday. But guess what? Everything's going to be taken care of. Because when payday comes, you're not going to have to pay out the stuff. Because he already paid it all. Uh -huh. You get to keep it. Payday is coming. And he's giving you double for your trouble. Double, double, you're double. You're going to have the overflow. You know, I was... I was filling up the <laughs> iron. I'm on Indy Harvest Church. I ain't on the, I ain't, I ain't even, on, uh, I'm not even wow. calling Todd Thompson. That's a mess. Isn't that funny? Wow. Okay. You really doing things now. Okay. <laughs> I, um, um, I was, uh, filling up the iron the other day and, um, you know, I looked at where the part says, uh, maximum, mm -hmm. where it says fill. And actually that mark is so low and they leave like this big space, the tank, the, the tank part where you can actually fill the water is still, there's so much left where you can continue to fill it up. Mm -hmm. And I, so I never stop at that part where it says maximum. I always keep filling it to the, right. up to the, you know, that part. And I said, I was serious. I said, well, Lord, if that part is, I wonder why, you know, I was just, cause I just be talking to the Lord about like, Right. trivial stuff. I said, why they make it so much to the, you know, left for you to keep filling it up? That seems silly. And he said, that's because the rest is overflow. Mm -hmm. And I thought about, I said, wow, that's all you need is that little bit, but everything else is overflow. And he said, that's the same thing I'm about to do in your life. Everything else is overflow. Mm -hmm. The little bit that you, what you need is actually just a little bit. And everything else is overflow. Yeah, everything else what is you overflow. actually need to God is a little thing. But what he's about to pour out and fill you up with, everything else is overflow. Uh -huh. Glory to God. You're about to get that restoration, that payback, that recompense, that reviving, that refreshing, because he wants to give you overflow. Mm -hmm. Everything else, baby, is about to be overflow in your life. You're going to get to splash around in it. Hallelujah. Get ready for that overflow in overflow. your life. Overflow. Uh, well, did you read what you were gonna read in, in your, oh, You had it. But uh, yeah, I got you. this here. I never got to it. If you want to question, you know, well, how do I know that God really plans to do this? And y'all are not just making this up. This lets you know God plans on doing it. Joel, or some people say Joel or Joel, um, the second chapter in the twenty fifth mm -hmm. verse, God says, "And I will." He plans to do it. This is His will, 
and I will mm -hmm. restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, uh -huh. the canker worm and the caterpillar yeah. and the palmer worm. Hallelujah. My great army, which I sent among you. So everything that was taken through the years, it's not too late. It can be years later, no matter how long it's been. Because for some people, it has been years. You feel like you've lost stuff over the years. It's taken a long time, but God has kept track of it. Aren't you glad? Oh. Stuff that we forget. Because sometimes I can't even keep track of. I'm like, it's so much stuff I don't lost track. I'm but telling God you, remembers. But God, God knows what you lost. He knows. And God is concerned about what you lost. Yes. Sometimes we think God is only mm. concerned about the big stuff. He concerned. He's concerned he about it all. Stuff. He's concerned about everything. It is your Father's good pleasure to give, to you, give you the kingdom. Yes. But it's also it's also His pleasure for you to get the stuff that that the the little stuff that uh you you may uh, some of you all have some stuff stolen from you like little stuff. That that wasn't that wasn't quote unquote life threatening. wasn't big. Uh, wasn't it was it could have been just something as simple as as a, as a mama your mama's ring or or something somebody bought for you and it, you were sentimental sentimental. God God will restore mm -hmm. that if you just put your faith out there. That's right. And so we're in a time that God wants to restore some things. God wants to restore. And what we have to do is we just have to believe God for uh, to do what He said He's going to do. That's right. Now the thing that the thing that uh, you look at when you read this thing and when you read the uh, the scriptures uh, all of this stuff is going to happen is happening in the presence of God God says he's the re times of refreshing is coming from his presence yeah it's coming from his presence mm -hmm. it, uh, and, and what how and what we need to do is see if I, I, I cut that grass if I don't go get in the presence of some water if I don't go get in the presence of of some, uh, of, some of, of, of of something to drink then mm -hmm. then I, I won't get refreshed that's right but You're if I go but I, in order for me to get refreshed up. I must be where I can get refreshed. Yeah. And, and, and it's important hmm. that you get around uh, the yeah. place that and places the that you can get refreshed and restored. Uh. Remember, you remember that dude that was uh he was he was at the at the at the pool of at the pool of Bethesda. He was yeah. at the pool at the pool at the fire uh, by the uh, had five porches and he couldn't and uh, and every, and, the, and once a year they say the trump the 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 angels will come trouble the water and nobody was there to put him in and uh, and Jesus was like you know what I'm right I'm right in front of you you don't have to wait for the uh, tr the troubling of the water. You don't have to wait for the angel to come. I'm grace is already right here. I'm already here. You know, he was trying to, he was having excuses about what couldn't happen and what wasn't happening. And Jesus is letting you know that, you know what, you don't have to give an excuse. You don't have to have no excuses of this, of why, of why you're going, why you've been through this, why you're going through this, why this not happening. He says, no, I'm here. And my grace is here mm -hmm. to refresh you. My grace is here to restore you. I, I, our job is just to believe God. Our job is just to begin to submit and yield to what God is doing yes. because he's just doing it when he's doing something he is uh, he is he and, and that and that window is open yes. it's our job is our job not to try to make something happen God knows how right. to get to the hearts of your children you. he know how to get to the hearts of your husband of your wife he knows I how know, to get yes. to the hearts of people he knows how to get to the hearts of your boss he knows how <laughs> to restore Damn. your uh, your dignity to restore your Ooh. honor he know how to restore your name he knows how to redeem that thing and God wants to bring restoration in families he wants to bring restoration in marital relationships yes. he wants to bring restoration with your children he wants as a matter of fact God is going to cause uh, some of myself. your children to come and apologize God is going to call some of your children that's grown to call and say you know what I, I you know what I just want to thank you for all that you've done for me because mm -hmm. some of y'all felt like you was overlooked and uh, and just and just then they didn't care about your sacrifice Sacrifice that you made for you the, for them as children, and mm -hmm. I just see God. I just see That's God right. touching children and God, right. uh, at right. home and not at home, and mm -hmm. calling and re and repenting and apologizing. Wow. I see God bringing Praise forth God. Uh, 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 homes and mending relationships you, because Lord. restoration is not yeah. only for your things. Restoration is everything from your <laughs> relationship with God, because God is going to restore the joy. God is going to restore the anointing that. He Healing that 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 uh that power and the anointing you used to walk in. Some of you like God. Are you still there? Ooh. Are you still moving? Are you still? I mean, I don't feel the prophetic like I used to. I don't feel the anointing like I used to. I don't feel I'm not flowing in my 
my hands used to I used to feel the power of God in my hands. Or I used to I used to used to show me visions and dreams. You used to do yeah. this. And now, Lord, it's just like I've been dry. Like my wife said, you've been in the OA, you've been in the desert, in the in the desert place. You've been in the yeah. dry place. But yeah. what did he say? I'll make rivers in the desert. Yes. I will make rivers in the desert. Yes. And in your dry place, in your place yes. to where you seem parched, in your place to where you seem like you haven't been having the visions and the dreams and you haven't been having the uh all of the uh, all of the manifestations and the and the experiences uh-huh. that uh-huh. you had yesteryear. Mm. Some of it was to grow you up yes. so that you can depend Shia. on God and not an experience. Really? Some of it was to grow you up because God yes. didn't want you Come to on. depend Come on your on. dreams. He wanted you to depend on. on his word. Come he on. didn't want you to yes. depend on other people prophesying Woo! and a gift. He wanted you to stand in faith That's because a gift is a gift, but we yes. got to learn how to live by faith. Yes. And so God says, I <laughs> was, you may gift. not have been feeling a bunch of uh, a gift things flowing and yes. you're like you thought, like you used to, and, and, and you haven't been feeling a lot of stuff going on like you used to, not because I'm not there, because the Bible says I'll never leave you nor forsake you. But what he says is he wants you to grow and he, Part of your growing experience is to press in, is to yes. press in after him, is to go in after him, yes. is to begin to say, God, even though I don't feel you like I used to, I know you're still there because your word says you'll never leave me nor forsake me. Your word says it. So, Lord, is so if, if there's anything wrong in me, if there's any block yes. going on yes. because of yes. my attitude or my or, or this, Lord, just reveal it and show me. Because when you start feeling that way, it gets you into the place of repentance. Yes. So, where you start, yes. God, I will change yes. what I need to change. That's because right, Lord, right. what did what did David say? Don't take your presence away from me. Mm. I don't want to be without your presence. I don't want to be Ooh. without your anointing. Yeah. I don't want to be without your power. I don't want to yeah. be without it. Whatever yeah. you do, whatever you do, whatever you whatever do, you don't do. take yeah. it away from me. I need you. Oh. And so Jesus said, I'm not going nowhere. I'm right here with you. And when you haven't been feeling the anointing and the power, and you haven't been hearing God, some of you like Lord, it's been like mm. it's been like you've been it's in silent. It, I feel like. Malachi to uh, Matthew, four hundred years of silence. But God mm. says, "I've been, I've been still, I've been there the whole time. I've been talking to you in my word. I've been talking to you to the pre through the preachers. I've been talking to you through your pastor. I've been talking to you the whole time. I just want you to draw near and draw closer, yes. and I want you to come up a little yes. higher. I'm not coming back down there. He already came down, yes. but now He wants you to come up. Hey. He wants you to come up to heavenly places yes. where He is. We are seated together with Him in yes. heavenly places." So God says the reason why you haven't been feeling certain things like you've been feeling because I've been wanting you to come up. I've been wanting you to draw near. I've been wanting you to come in because I've been I've been wanting to groom you and to help grow you into who you called to be. You wonder why I went through this and went through that because I'm trying to show you like he did with the children of Israel that man lives by the by the word of God and not bread alone. You know, yeah. So you've been pressing in persecution and disappointment. And all ah. the other things you've been feeling, and you've been feeling abandoned, like like nobody's been supporting oh you, God. nobody's with you, nobody's been listening to you, yeah. like you've been hollering yeah. and just is this there's nothing but an echo. But God yeah. says, but God says, listen, you you are you are pressing, and uh-huh. in the pressing, you've been uh-huh. developing your faith. In the pressing, yes. you've been developing yes. your love. In the pressing, you've been developing in your spirit, man. And God uh-huh. says, that's what I've been doing. I've been growing you and maturing you for such a time time as this because when I refresh you, when the refreshing comes and when the restoration comes all of the strength and all of the vitality, all of the anointing all of the experience that you got in the closet, in the times in the dark times, in the times when nobody was there, when you was back there and when nobody was there, how about you Moses, when nobody was around you was tending sheep, you was out there all by yourself, before I said go to Pharaoh, before anybody knew your name, you was, oh you was there and you was working with the sheep. Uh, oh, David, you was back there with the sheep. You was in there smelling yes. like sheep, dealing with them, fighting lions and bears. Oh, my. And God says this, just like I was with you then, I'm with you now. And I've been developing yes. you in the darkness, in the dark season, in the dark room. Some of you been in the dark room oh, and you've just goodness. been developing. And you just been, God's been working on Ooh. your spirit. He's You've been going through persecution because God's been letting you experience some stuff because yes. you got to learn to love because yes, you call yes, the ministry yes, and yes. if you can't take it uh, from people talking mm-hmm. about you and people not and people not supporting you all the time you're not going to last in ministry and so God says I've been developing so that so that people and these things that they say can just run right off your back and you still can 
walk in love. You still can be like Jesus. I've just been working on you. I'm still here. Hey, the refreshing hallelujah. is coming. The re this times of refreshing is hallelujah. now because I'm bringing restoration, say of the yes. Lord. I'm restoring not the gift hallelujah. to how it was, but even higher. I'm taking that gift. You had to lay hands on people before, but I'm going to expand the gift because I'm going to put you before too many people to lay hands on individually mm -hmm. and you'll speak the word only and you're going to see bodies healed. You're going to begin to, your, your, the, the prophetic will go mm -hmm. to another level of accuracy. The word of knowledge yeah, will go to another level of accuracy and proficiency. Mm -hmm. God says, mm -hmm. I've been developing you and working on you. I ain't been, I haven't been, I didn't leave you. I'm right there. And mm -hmm. no, and so it's time for your refreshing. It's time for your restoration and it's going to come back mm -hmm. stronger and harder than ever. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just all that came out. I ain't yeah, give my wife nothing. Jesus, praise oh, God. Right. So y'all receive that thing. Glory to God. And make receiving. sure you share it. Make sure you share amen. it. Amen. Amen. That is the word of the Lord. Amen. That is definitely the word of the Lord. It's not because in order to go and do what we have to do, we've got to, first of all, repent and be refreshed and restored yeah. because uh, something all dried up and dehydrated. When you are dehydrated, you know, dehydration messes up every system of the body. It messes up. It messes up every other system of the body. You can have something going wrong in your body and you go and find out you're dehydrated. And that's why this thing is off and mm. that thing is off. It messes with your vision. It messes with, I mean, it messes with everything. And so you have to simply be hydrated properly ah, for everything to function properly in your body. And so you need to be hydrated, baby. And then you can go out and tell somebody else, come and get a drink. It was like the woman at the well. Mm -hmm. She got, she gave Jesus some water, but she, she seemed like she had water, but she needed some water. Yeah. And he gave her that water that wouldn't run yeah, he dry. Said, you, get thirsty. you drink this, you can get thirsty again. Yeah. He says, but I got some water there, boy. It's going to yeah, quench every yeah. thirst you ever have. Jeez. Every <laughs> thirst that you ever have that, that you was trying to fulfill with a man. Right, I'll right, right, all. right. She was the wrong kind of thirsty. She had to get thirsty. For that, for that living water, uh, and and yeah. you need. <laughs> Earth, that's a good title, yeah, boy. And so you son. need to get that water so you can be hydrated, and then you need to get to work. We got work to do. Uh huh. We've got work to do because God is restoring you so you can be a restorer. Yes. I was, restore I was talking. Restore people. Restore people. I was talking to that. You know, with the, with the man under the tent, the man that yes. uh, our, our brother, brother Chris, brother Chris, uh, that he 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 tore his muscles, the muscles, the and muscles and, and his, tendons, yeah, and his bicep and separated. all the arms, yeah. his muscles and tendons separated while they was putting the tent up on like Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, Thursday, we came up rolling up in there preaching the gospel and I call healing, you know, call for healing. Uh, those who need healing. And we and we prayed and laid hands mm -hmm. and, and we lay hands on him and, and we believe God for his healing and uh, for a miracle. And, 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 um, and, you know, like we do with everybody else. And he he been talking about it ever since boy, <laughs> that 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 he that, that when I, 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 you know, I lay hands, I did different stuff. But then my wife felt led to. To uh to to rub the God told him to rub 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 his arm with it with it with a bruise because it was purple you know mm -hmm. you know he's white man so you see yeah. it real strong you know I mean it's it was real not purple. pretty and and so <laughs> she was rubbing it and and he said as she rubbed it he she he felt the pain go going out of his fingertips and he says he felt the ligaments he felt stuff coming back together and being put back together in he couldn't lift his arm he couldn't lift his arm at all and so all of a sudden after we finished praying he, he lifted on his he could lift his arm the pain left and he been and it started healing and started getting better it started looking better and better mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh right then it started looking better and then it started looking better uh friday and saturday it started looking yes. better and uh and and he was having a full range of motion yeah full range of motion he was being he was being uh he was his body was being restored yeah. But guess what? He's a street preacher. Yeah. He's a he's he, a he's a he's he a, uh, up, like outreach. He's a, yeah, he's a street he's a he's a, evangelism. Uh, yeah, he's like an outreach pastor. And he goes out there and goes and he gets folks saved. And he says, I gotta I can't have this uh blocking me. He's sixty five years old. He said, I can't have this blocking me. I gotta get out there and win souls. And see, God will heal you and God restores you so you can be a restorer. So you can restore. And I tell you what, God, the same way God put ligaments together and did things for him, yeah. uh God is gonna do some stuff for you. My wife here was 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 closed for like a month almost yeah. it seemed like and we've been praying and confessing and declaring and believing and uh and all of a sudden over the weekend was it over the weekend mm -hmm. over the weekend uh that thing her ear popped back open 
Mm-hmm. And all that, and, uh, and 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 that thing have popped over. And the reason why I'm saying that is because mm-hmm. the enemy may may uh, may try to give you discomfort and try to try to mess up stuff and try to make you uh, mm-hmm. make you make you retreat, thinking you're not adequate enough because of something going on in mm-hmm. your body or your life. But don't let the enemy th- make you think you don't have faith That's and right. that you're not saved or that you're not strong because you're going through something or right. you're working or you're believing through something. Because you got to keep on believing. Some That's people right. are healed instantly. Some right. are healed as they, as go. they go. So you must stand and you must stand on that word uh, no matter what. That's right. Because because the word is true. And that's see, that's where and then the refreshing begins to come. You got to yes. keep standing on that word be- so that when the refreshing comes, yes. glory to God. And, and we're in a time of refreshing and uh, and God wants to refresh you and restore you. He wants to touch your body. We speak yes. healing over bodies. Yes. We yes. speak, Lord, whatever the problem is in people's body, whatever is Come going on, on from the very crown of their heads yes. there, from the crown of your head to the soles of your from the very soles of your feet, every system of your body, yes. we speak health to every system of your body, we speak to function normally, the way God created the function. You were created, you were wonderfully and you were uh, you were marvelously created. You are marvelous in the sight of God. So every wonderful made, every wonderfully made system, I speak to you to uh, uh, to function properly in the name of Jesus. All contaminants, disease, sickness, pain, and every uh, every all malady, malfunction, every uh, every Every infirmity, every weakness, every infection, everything I, that's uh, that I will am. hinder every system from functioning properly. We evict you. You are illegal, and we command you to. We bind your operation in their body, and we command you sickness, disease, uh, to loose pain, loose off of them now. In the name of Jesus, you know, they are the healed of God. They are healed. They are healed in the name of Jesus. And we speak restoration to their body. Hey, we speak restoration to your mind. Yes. We speak restoration yes. to your home. We bind the spirit that's coming against homes right now. We bind the spirit that's coming against marriages, that's causing arguments and frustration in marriage. There's a spirit in there. There's a spirit that's been trying to attack marriages and causing them to be at odds for My over God. stupid stuff. But I, we bind that spirit of division. We bind confusion. We come against that now in the name of Jesus. We declare unity over every marriage. We declare unity over every husband and wife in the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of antichrist and rebellion and rejection and anger. We bind the three R's in working in the children. We bind uh, we bind, uh, we bind rejection uh, we bind, uh, we bind it in the name of Jesus. We bind that rage in children and, and because of anger in the name of Jesus, rebellion, uh, uh, resentment. We command you, we command you to go from them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh yeah. Rejection, rebellion, yes. and resentment. Ooh. Go from them now yes. and from that household. Yes. We bind it in the name of Jesus. You antichrist spirit, you get off of those children. You get off of that, uh, off of their minds in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that they, that the believer as a believer that the mom or the dad is standing in faith and you and 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 Lord your word says that if you we believe us and our house shall be saved so in the name of Jesus we add our faith with that yes. believing uh, mom or believing dad or believing mom and dad that their house shall be saved shall have sozo shall have deliverance shall have wholeness in the name of Jesus and we bind the attack of the enemy uh, 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 coming against the children in the name of Jesus. We speak restoration in this season. We bind backlash and retaliation. Glory to God. Even from coming from people uh, from Indie Harvest and that's connected to us. As we yeah, spread yeah, this word, you, know. you the enemy, you you come immediately yeah, and try to steal us. that word. Uh, but we bind your operation. We bind your attack in the name of Jesus. And we speak restoration. Hallelujah. Over homes, over families. We speak restoration over finances. Hallelujah. We speak restoration over businesses. We speak restoration that some of you all who've been passed up and passed over and look up and you've been looked, you've been looked, looked at, you've been, uh, you've been overlooked. God says, get ready because he's restoring how you, how people see you. 
People are about to see you differently. Glory. So get ready. Ooh. Get ready. It's restoration time. God is turning it, turning it around. Give me that the Bible right quick. Let me read this because we got to stop. Uh, glory <laughs> to God. And some of y'all need to sow a restoration Ooh, seed today. Yes. Some of y'all need to go and uh, go and give. Oh, some of y'all need we we uh, we right now we using cash. We use cash app to give. And some of y'all need to sow a cash app seed of a, a, a restoration because God is restoring you. So you can go restore others. Mm -hmm. You are a minister of the gospel mm -hmm. and you can't, you know, and that's what, that's what I was talking about with the guy that got healed, Kim. Yeah. I mean, not Kim, but, uh, Chris. but Chris, um, but because he, he was saying, he said, cause see brother hurt people, hurt people, you know, right. heal people, heal people. And that's what happens. Restore people, restore, restore people. people. And God wants to restore you so you can restore others. Jesus was the great restorer. The Bible says God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. Now Christ isn't on this earth. We are. Right. So now we do the work of Christ and we restore people and we have the ministry of reconciliation, restoration. Right. Yes. And we have the ministry of bringing people to Jesus. Mm -hmm. So God says he's restoring you. Not only just not only see, he wants you to enjoy your life. Right. That's right. See, see this whole thing about right. um, about this uh, Psalms. 26, 126, as we close this live down. Closing number two. Um, uh, 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 or that, three, I've lost track. That he says, he says, he when keeps we keep saying we, but y'all notice it ain't me, right? He I says, just, when the Lord turned again the captivity of again. Zion, we were like them that dreamed the dream. So, in other words, they will live like living their dream. Mm -hmm. So, so he wants to cause restoration, yeah, because he does want you to live your dream. Mm -hmm. He does want you to, uh, he will listen. Then our mouths was filled with laughter. He wants your, mm -hmm. he wants joy and laughter and, and enjoyment in your life. Our tongue was singing. See, singing and laughter, that's joy, that's fun, mm -hmm. that's enjoy, that's victory. A celebration. The, yeah, this celebration of victory. Right. And, 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 uh, and, and, and then party. said, uh, uh, they among the heathen, the Lord has done great things. Uh, the Lord has done great things where we are glad. So mm -hmm. this is stuff that, that's happening and they're, they're in the restoration season where they're having joy, they, they're mm -hmm. having laughter, they're having singing, they're celebrating. And then he says, turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Yeah. They shall go forth um, and uh, they shall go forth and we and, uh, and weepeth, uh, bearing precious seed and shall doubtless. It says he that goeth forth and uh, weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again rejoicing, bringing she the sheaves in with them. Yeah. Now, in other words, see so what, I, with his heart is then what I'm saying is this. <laughs> the whole <laughs> thing is in the restoration. Payday. They had they, it was it was they had payday dreams being fulfilled, celebration good life, enjoying the life, which mm -hmm. God wants you to. Yeah. Then he wants you to be able to show that so that the heathen can see it That's right. and see that the Lord is doing great things yeah. whereof you're glad. And then guess what? Men see your good works yes. and glorify, glorify the, Father. the Father. So now that you've been re being restored, you can go and begin to restore people to the Father yes. because God's attention that he's attracting to you is so that he can get the glory through you. <laughs> like on the day of Pentecost. Yeah. He got yeah. he, they made all that ruckus, ruckus. Mm -hmm. Made a fuss of their hollering. <laughs> they were loud. Looking uh, drunk. Yeah. All that attention he gave them. He made this sure he had, they, he made sure they were front stage so that then Peter was able to preach and thousands got saved. And yeah. God wants you to get restored. Uh, so you can, yes, enjoy it and have a good time. But so then you can go and restore people to him. Yeah, because he's want some he because we are the ministers of God yes, we and we got to go forth and God wants to enjoy God wants you to enjoy yeah, the restoration the that is for that uh, that yes. is for you in this season. So believe God for the restoration and some of you all need to sow a, a restoration seed. Glory to God. I mean, you some of y'all need to sow a hundred and twenty six dollar seed uh, in agreement yeah. with Psalms 126, yeah. a turn again seed. Glory yeah. to God. Some of y'all need to sow a thousand dollar seed. Some of y'all need to sow uh, ten thousand. Some of y'all need to sow a hundred dollars. Some of y'all need to sow twenty six dollars. Some of y'all need to sow twelve dollars and six cents. Some of y'all need to sow one dollar and twenty six cents. Some of y'all just need to Come sow on. whatever God tell you to sow and, right. and believe God yes. for restoration. Yes. 
And oh, so, and so we oh, every Monday, Paul and Todd Thompson, we do stuff like you know going to the we we our whole thing about going to under tents and and preaching out there in the streets and doing all that. Mm-hmm. We 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 got to do more of that. And with your help, and with your help, we can do that. Yeah. With your help, we can get to we can get to Charlotte and get on the streets. With your help, oh, we yeah. can get to Texas and Tennessee and do this do this type of stuff and get out there and be blessed and get to hook up with some churches and go and and uh, and, and do the work of God. Mm-hmm. And so we just ask you whatever the Lord leads you to give. The given information is on the screen. The given information is on the screen. Yes, so just is. sow your seed. It's in the comments on on uh, on the gram oh, there. God, but just just sow your seed and believe God. Whatever it is you feel led. That's that's all we ask. Uh, and 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 we thank God for all kingdom advancers. Mm-hmm. Um, I've I sent the letter. I emailed the letter. Kingdom advance the letter out for uh for this month already. It's out. It's been out there. Did you get yours, producer? You got yours? Yeah, I sent it on out there and I pray that it was a blessing to you. And uh and, and I'm looking forward to sending the next one next week, next month. And so uh and, and it's just to build your faith. Build your faith and help give you a tool for the kingdom. And so I want to uh we want to, we want you to sow and be blessed in the name of the Lord. What you gotta say before we go and uh and everything. What else on your mind? I want you to just get ready for anything? your uh for your restoration. Uh get ready to receive your, your 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 payday. Uh, because it's harvest time, so you get ready to celebrate with the uh, with the harvest, and uh, because it's time to make preparation, we're making we're preparing for something. There is there are things to do because we do not have long, so we've got to prepare. And uh, I just want you to know that uh, that we love you, we appreciate so much what you help us do and help us to advance the kingdom as we do this together. What you help us do as you uh, sow and invest in us, that it also is accounted to you in heaven. So it's like you get to do it too. So those, when you help us, those 16 souls, it's like you went out and helped to win 16 souls. Yeah, you got so. some folks like, oh, I'm not a street preacher. Well, I wasn't either until I walked out out there and started preaching in the streets, okay. you know, but, but, but everybody's a restorer. Yeah. Everybody's a restorer. Yeah. And, and so it's restoration time. God's going to restore some folks calling. Mm. Some of you all felt hey. called and then but what you got offended about something hey. and then you kind of just uh, and you went your way and you wasn't faithful in the church and you wasn't getting nothing, you know, built up. And you just you just, you know, uh, whatever. Mm-hmm. And God's restoring that ministry call in you. God is mm-hmm. restoring the uh, and everybody's not called the ministry, but God is restoring that call. No, no, He's no, restoring no, 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 it. No, no, no. He's restoring the desire. That. Because some of you all lost no, no, no. desire. Some of you all lost desire of prayer. You lost yeah. desire of spiritual yeah. things. I understand that. You know, I mean, and, and, and some of you have been in that dry place spiritually far too long. And God is about to cause you to be refreshed. Welcome to your oasis. Today you have hit and you have come to your oasis. And so, God, I pray that, Lord, that you will that you will uh, that you will cause a refreshing for everyone watching us. Cause a refreshing just supernaturally. I just ask you to do it. It does, uh, Lord, you, you're right there with them, wherever they are. And throughout this day, I pray, I pray that you refresh them, water them. Glory. They've been like a garden sitting in the sun too long without water, but God water them. Throughout the day, yeah, yeah, yeah God's gonna awesome. water you. God's gonna water you throughout the day by good. He's gonna yeah, get some no, good no, no, news. No. Some you gonna you gonna you, this, watch. Yeah, no, your, no, he's no, gonna no, water no, you. No. There's some things about to happen no, no, no. in your life, so get ready for it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be powerful, and I'm excited in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I did hear this. God is restoring for somebody. He's restoring some things to you mentally. He's restoring some things to you concerning your memory. He's uh, also restoring some. Uh, things you for somebody he's restoring your trust your trust your trust in uh your trust in preachers your trust in the local church he's restoring your trust in the brothers and sisters in the local church he's restoring your trust so let him work in you and do that in you now you may see this later on youtube later on facebook or wherever but for you god is restoring your trust let him do it because you got to make sure you get and connected to the place where you can get watered. You've got to build that trust so you can get watered. Amen. Watered. Thank God for all of y'all comments. Yeah. Daphne, Mother, 
Uh, good hey, everybody. Hey. Burns, all of that. Good hey. God bless everybody that, that I didn't call. Uh, I just looked over and saw a few names. But everybody mm-hmm. has been listening, throwing those hearts Praise out there you know. and commenting and, and, and cross talking and everything. All <laughs> of the other comments, God bless you. Thank you for the comments. Bless you, bless you, bless you. And we got to get ready to get up out of here. Uh, we got to go right. um, uh, and go and enjoy. And, and as well as Bishop Tyler said, we got to go seize the day. We gotta yeah, go. Uh, we gotta go get ready. Yeah, get ready for the day. I want to encourage everybody listening to us. If you are not, if you are able this week, you need to get the Dominion Camp Meeting. Oh, yeah. You need to get the get to Dominion Camp Meeting 35. And so yeah. go and check it out on robparsley.com. Go check it out World Harvest Church uh, online, and go and get the Dominion Camp Meeting. There's gonna be some powerful speakers there. July yeah. 1st to about July 1, 2, and 3. So in the harvest, out here at in the harvest, we're not going to have church this Sunday. The doors will be closed. We'll be in, in the, um, we'll be in Columbus, Ohio at Dominion Camp Meeting. And so you yes. can come with us and have a good old time or, uh, or you can see it online, but that's where we're going to be. And yes. so, uh, but, but after this Sunday, we want to make sure you get on out there and get to Indy Harvest and be blessed in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Thank you for watching on today. Thank you for uh, whatever seed you sow. We appreciate it. Uh, we pray and we declare for your miracle financially, your yes. your restoration finances of the finance. We declare for a yes. miracle. Glory. I'm declaring, I'm declaring that stuff happens supernaturally. We're supposed to experience it supernaturally every, supernatural every day. Yes. And so we I thank God for it. And so, uh, hey, in this restoration, restoration season, go forth and excite with excitement, celebrate and know yes. that God is doing something spectacular for you. This is Paul and Tara Thompson. Thompson. And, and with God, God all, all things, things are possible. Salud. See ya. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See ya. With the, it's like saying, it's like so bad. I wouldn't want to be you, but see ya. <laughs>